We've got our trusty pooches, Kenzie, and he's ready to go, and Sally. Yes, good dogs, good dogs. And we have this beautiful assembly here that the two dogs are attached to on the right-hand side of the bicycle. Um, and uh, this is uh, invented by Mike. Um, and Mike down in the U.S., amazing, and it's got instructions written on the side of it, how to use it, and it is the running dog bike tow leash. Uh, it attaches to the side of your bicycle. So just doing a little review here so that we can see a couple of things. If you bring the camera down a little more. Um, this clamp here is attached on the right-hand side of my bicycle. Mike actually made this up uh, custom because this unit normally installs left-hand side. So I've requested right-hand side mount specifically because of uh, how our paths and things ride here. And you can see how I've set it up, pointing down, coming across. This then, and if you back up so we can get the dogs in, please. This then blocks the dog from the bicycle. Kenzie's attached right here to his own collar. Mike also had made this as well. You can see it spins freely, it rotates, they're on spinners, and from here it's attached to Sally. So the dogs get feedback from the, the leash and to each other, yes, good girl Sally, and to each other. And it's a really awesome setup, um, and the dogs just love to go for a run. So um, there we go. Uh, so what I'm gonna just do is, I'm gonna do a little couple of laps. Uh, it's an early spring day. I'm gonna do a couple of laps slowly so you can see the dogs running in tandem on the right-hand side of the, of the bike. This is actually their first time out this season, so we'll see how they're doing. And a good thing I always find to do when we start with them is to walk them first. You guys ready? Sally, sit. Come on, Sally, sit. Good girl. You guys ready? And I actually find they like to pull, and they'll actually pull you along. Um, so you see they're pretty accustomed to it. So I'll just get on the bike and go for a little tour. So you'll zoom in on me while I, while I travel. You guys ready? Just trot along beside, nice and easy. It's a real handy setup. run on the pavement as well as you can see. this uh, bike dog tow leash and um, I when I contacted Mike 
I had looked for about six months actually and reviewed and looked at a number of other products that are, are similar in terms that you can attach a dog to your bicycle. And I have to say, having met other people around Toronto and out in the past with different types of bike attachments, some have made, some they've bought from other sites online, I'm really, really happy that uh, this is what I chose for the dogs. They run off the right hand side in the setup that's done here. It's awesome as you can see because I have the choice, can run them on the path. We have these beautiful bicycle paths through the city of Toronto, um, but I can choose to ride on the edge of the path so they can run in the grass and in the dirt and it's very handy. And they can negotiate around and, and jump over little things as well. So um, they actually can run pretty quick. We've been as fast as 30 kilometers an hour and they start, they were kind of pulling me. I said, okay, well let's see how fast you want to go. Uh, you just really do have to keep an eye on the dogs and be a responsible rider. so they know what's going on. They do get a lot of feedback from the leash pulling as the bike changes direction and things like that, but it, they can also wonder as they're running, and Sally specifically, good girl, she can get into a mode where she can think that, oh, I'm running and I'm, I'm in my wild setting, and sometimes she'll get and see a squirrel, and when they're in that running mode, she, ah, and she'll try to pull away, and Kenzie's like, hey, where are you going? But everything keeps them in check and they can't get away from you. They stay well attached to the bike. They don't pull you over because they're mounted off the rear uh, hub like that. And it's just a really awesome setup. So um, really happy with it. It does require care and control. You do have to monitor what's going on with the dogs. You can't just attach your dog and off for a mindless bike ride. Um, so be aware of that. Lots of communication and being aware of other riders. But it's a fabulous product. I uh, love it. And uh, the extra little pieces of work that Mike had done to adapt this to mount on the right side of the bike. And if you want to come over just one more time here, and we'll come down close. Um, one of the things I did find, good girl, sounds like a boy, Kenzie, in this attachment piece here, you may have to play with your own individual bike because this is the gear shifter. Uh, wire that runs through this little protective cord housing that runs up through here and it does on my bike um, I had to adjust in a few different ways because I found that uh, depending on the angle it would interfere well it's happy now it sits here and I can have full range of all of my gears I had this too low before which put pressure here and you can see that pressure causes all of this to move and then I was losing two gears so you can just require a little bit of adjustment to get it to, to fit to your bike specifically and to make those things work like that but uh, there we go Kenzie's enjoying his stick Sally just hanging out there there you go a quick review um, it's a beautiful piece of equipment it's very sturdy it's well made and just really enjoyable uh, to take the dogs out and, and be able to be out here like this uh, on the paths and going through the parks and things and even on city roads for that matter that's another reason why I like having them on right hand side because on the city roads um, I have control of the dogs right hand side so they can stay between me and the sidewalk we can go around parked cars and when we do get into some spots, so it is a city where there's heavy traffic, uh, the dogs are protected because cars are going around me and it keeps everybody safe. So it's an excellent product. I would highly recommend it if you're looking to get out and find another activity with your pooch so that you can go out and have some fun and enjoy cycling um, and just have a great time. Great. Good dogs, eh?